In this video, I'll be speaking about BRE Academy and what they are providing in terms of pain management. Uh, if you visited their website, you will find that they have two kinds of certificates. Uh, one is BIM Informant Professional Certification and the other one is BIM Practitioner Certification. Um, and to take both, you, you need to have um, to pass by this pathway. So uh, the pathway starts with training and this training includes two good courses. One is BIM Essentials ISO 19650 and the other one is Delivering Information Management. Um, these trainings are um, really two of the best trainings in that field. Um, they provide you very good knowledge. And also at the end of this training, you will receive an attendance certificate. So some people just take the training and uh, that's enough. But if you are willing to get uh, one of these two certificates, you, you will need to go and make an application. Uh, in this application, you will state which certificate are you targeting. And uh, there are a few differences between BIM informed professional certification and BIM practitioner uh, practitioner certification. Uh, if you are going um, going to take this certificate on your own, so go for BIM informed professional certification. But if your company is supporting you and you can get proper documentation from them, so uh, go for the practitioner certification. And uh, the practitioner certification have uh, two um, modules. One is task information manager and the project information manager. And um, for this BIM practitioner certification, you will need to provide uh, evidence for uh, professional insurance uh, from your company and um, maybe an ISO certificate, ISO 9001, or some documentation to support that uh, you, you are following um, uh, good processes in your company. Uh, the assessment itself is um, uh, by uh, writing, um, so you will receive a document from BRE. In this document, there will be some topics based on ISO 19650, and you will be requested to write um, your understanding to these topics as we were 19650 and provide examples for um, how you applied ISO 19650 in your previous projects. You can provide either an example or a methodology for applying ISO 19650 at these specific topics. The only point that may concern you is the price because you will need to pay for the training and then for the assessment and certification. However, from my point of view, the, um, the pathway is very good and it provides uh, real knowledge and also the assessment itself is real assessment. So uh, if you pass this uh, assessment and get the certification, it will add value to your um, uh, profile. So um, reach out to me and ask me any further questions that you have. Thank you and see you in next videos.